as you see from the diagram, we go out from the boat launch and take a left to head out to the main body of the water. As soon as we hit about the 15 foot water mark, uh, we start our troll. And if you look, we'll try to follow the 15 to 20 foot contour lines. The hotter it gets or the later it gets in the day uh, from early morning to noon, uh, we'll try to move out over deeper water, that 20 to 25 foot mark. Uh, and the middle sometimes is a good area to hold fish. But as you can see from our trolling pattern, pattern, we pretty much make a circle around the lake, trying to stay anywhere from 15 to 25 feet deep, depending on the time of year. So he's running a standard trigger spoon, about three colors out here, pretty early, it's about 7.30 or 8, water temperature 73 degrees, so we're running one downrigger rod and two lead core rods, water's about 26, 28, 30 feet deep in here. It's not too big, it's a, bit, a lot of spoon for a little fish. Yeah. There's a lot of spoon for He's a little had a fish. couple of fights with Osprey. So Mike's hooked up. Mike's fishing a uh, Speed Spoon Pro or Fire Tiger Speed Spoon. It's a Fire Tiger, so it's blue and it's got a little bit of orange on the belly. It's one of the Fire Tiger, out of the uh, Fire Tiger Magnum kit. And we're fishing three miles an hour. Mike, how many colors were you back? Four and a half. Pretty color to them in here though. Pretty little fish. Pete has got one on a trout trick swarm. It's an orange trout trick swarm. It's 15 feet down on a downrigger. And we've slowed down trolling about 2, 2.2. Getting head into the next county with this now. That trick for him. Not a very big fish, but proof of concept. Mike's hooked up on that little Clio uh, silver and orange. Now it's gold and red, actually. This is the bigger version. This is uh, two fifths of an ounce, they call it. It's kind of a stupid sizing pattern, but almost half an ounce. Still five colors out? Five colors out. Doesn't look like a bad trout, though. It's not a bad trout, Mike. There's that Clio. So you're still running that trick swarm, right? Yep. Are you running a Dodger with it? I am. I'm running that mini, mini willow leaf. leaf. Okay. Took a bunch of hits to hook this one up, but plastics were hot in the springtime, and then we've been fishing a lot of spoons and plugs. So we're just kind of messing with the plastics again right now, and it seems to be turning on a little bit. Later, Pete will probably switch to uh, one of his confidence grubs. <laughs> Definitely wasn't very big, but no, nope, he's pretty colored though. Orange worm. Orange 
tricks again. So Mike's uh, fishing a trigger, trigger minnow, uh, and he's got it hooked up with a uh, micro turbo. We'll show you that rig when he gets the fish in. Yeah, I rigged it a lot differently than Cal showed on his video, just because I wanted to try it. So I'm running a micro turbo spinner about an inch and a half in front of a slow death hook. And I've got a, a gray trigger minnow one there. Behind a mini willow leaf dodger, so it will catch fish. It's actually the first time we've fished the trigger minnows. We've had them for, oh, I don't know, about a week, but we haven't really tried them. Nothing special. Well, there's a willow leaf. the turbo spinner set up and the trigger minnow Mike's hooked up dropped down the downrigger 12 feet and he is fishing orange trigger spoon pro UV Look at that. Almost like we One knew what we were doing. It's <laughs> a nicer fish. That ain't too bad, is it? I don't know that I would switch anything out. He put the orange pinhead down for, God, I don't know, a minute. Now he's got some fish on. He just wanted to crack <laughs> What an idiot. Pinhead spoon. So we're working on Operation Lure Rescue. Pete knocked it right over the transom. There's the fallen soldier. So we went to lunch and the fish decided to take a nap and we've been throwing things at him and trying to get a bite going and Mike switched to a spin fish and he's hooked up. 